So hello Jessica, uh, you run the New York uh, Tech Meetup, so what are you guys doing? I know you're doing a lot of demo nights and a lot of great work to bring foster this tech community in New York City, so can you explain a little bit? what's going on there. Sure, so the centerpiece of New York Tech Meetup's events are our monthly demo night at the Skirball Theater at NYU. We have an audience of 850 people who watch 10 different tech companies demo every month. And that's just the beginning of what we do. We also host a number of other events throughout the year. We do a lot of work behind the scenes to kind of connect and coordinate different entities in the city from private companies to the government. We do a lot of advocacy work for the tech community in terms of making sure that a lot of the policies and legislation that are being presented by our elected officials are in keeping with policies that will be supportive of the type of work that these companies are doing. Yeah. Well, what do you think about um, like New York? Why would everybody try and go there instead of San Francisco, or what what what, see, what the city can bring for entrepreneurs? I think there are a lot of things that are special and unique about New York. Some of it is the fact that New York is also the, the capital of so many other industries. So you have the capital of fashion and finance and publishing and advertising and media in general mm -hmm. in New York. So it makes it very easy if you're building a tech company that in any way connects yeah. to any of those other industries, you can meet with all of the key leaders in those industries right in one place. Geographically, it's also amazing too. You can have 10 different meetings in one day because yeah. mm -hmm. you can zip from one point of the city to another um, and it just I think overall the city with its vibrancy and culture and diversity and the yeah. fact that it is so interconnected allows companies that are doing different things like location-based software that type of thing to really test out their products and get it to a big market very very quickly yeah that's true and so you are here to talk about women in tech and I know you do a lot of work to you know help women get into that uh, field so can you tell me a little bit about that Sure, so New York Tech Meetup started doing women's demo nights uh, a number of months ago, basically as a way to try to figure out where all the women were. We would ask women yeah. to come and demo at New York Tech Meetup and didn't get that much of a response. So we started doing uh, women's demo nights. have had a couple of women's demo nights now that have been tremendous successes. We've been able to really showcase and highlight over 20 female-founded startups, and we plan on doing a lot more. And so what uh, you talked about, you know, the ambition gap and actually the lack of for you, there's no ambition gap. And uh, it's really interesting what you said about how women, you know, don't don't put themselves forward and don't claim what they what they should claim. So what do you think we can do to help change that? I think some of it is just everyone keeping in the forefront of their mind that when they're looking at planning a conference roster or looking at a list of the 30 most creative people in whatever industry, looking at it through the lens of am I looking broadly, am I looking outside of that typical typical pool of white men who often end up on those conference rosters and on those top 30 under 30 lists. Mm -hmm. And there are plenty of women out there who are doing this work. And some of it is on the women themselves who need to really step up and make sure that they're on stage and make sure that they make themselves visible. And then beyond that, once they start doing that, we can continue to tap into that pool of people and get more women engaged in different conferences. Yeah. And do you think examples like Sheryl Sandberg, obviously, Mary Sandmeyer, uh, changed that? Do you think, you know, maybe if we put more uh, emphasis on these women, we can maybe help change the rest? I think the key is to put emphasis on all of the broad spectrum of women in tech. I think focusing on any one individual and expecting that one person to represent an entire gender in the industry is difficult. So I think the main goal is really to promote women across the board, whether they're a junior developer in a small company, all the way up to being the CEO of a huge tech company, talking about the fact that there are a lot of women and there's a growing number of women in all of those different positions is incredibly important. That's true. And uh, also we're talking about men and how we want to bring men into these events and like the talk and have them be part of the conversation. So how can we also not, you know, let them out and not put them out? I think some of it is that we have to think about reframing the conversation a little bit. This is not just a feminist conversation yeah. about we need more women, we need to empower women. This is really about building better businesses and diverse businesses are better businesses. Yeah, that's true. Okay, thank you so much. Great. Thanks. Yeah.